So you cross step nicely, you get to the nose, you have a nice nose ride. Then comes the difficult part of cross stepping backwards. And it's no easy task, but in this video, I have a tip that could help with that. Stay tuned. You're watching Longboard Sessions, a channel where I document my journey on becoming a better longboarder. My name is Brian James, and man do I need work. Good morning, everybody. I'm over here in Spring Lake just checking the waves. They look a little interesting. I kind of wish this, this offshore wind would get a little stronger to clean this up a little bit, but it looks fun. Now, when Ben Considine analyzed my cross-stepping, he noticed that after I got a decent nose ride, I would be very unbalanced and unstable when I took my first few steps back. So I'm gonna tell you a great tip that he gave me to fix this problem, but I'm gonna drive down a few beaches, check one more place, and then we'll get into it. Man, that's quite a nice sunrise. Look at that. All right, I found the winner. Sweet. Yeah, I gotta start learning a little more about the breaks in New Jersey because there's so many, and I keep going to the same one every time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be trying out a brand new wetsuit today as well. Check it out. Hopefully it's warm enough for it. <laughs> we'll see. So when I cross step backwards, I'm often leaning way too far back, as I said before. There's a great little method that Ben gave me, which I'm gonna show you once I get my boots on here. All right. So here's what I normally do. I'm nose riding, here's my hang five, and then I'm gonna go like this. And that creates a very unbalanced point in the cross step. And when you're cross stepping back from the nose, it's normally because you're about to hit a pretty heavy section. So you wanna be in a good surfing position to be prepared for what's ahead after the nose ride. So here's the method Ben gave me. You want your first step, your first back step, fine, you're leaning back, not a problem. But then pivot off this back foot and go from here to a surfing position. Like that. Nose riding, back, and then weight forward over this foot. Now, obviously that only takes care of the first two steps, but they're kind of the most important after a nose ride. Because like I said, you wanna be ready for what's ahead after the nose ride. That gets you in a surfing position to be ready. Now, full disclosure, I've actually been using this technique the last two to three videos, and man, does it help so much. But I have completed so many more nose rides because of this method really works well if this is something you're struggling with. All right, let me finish getting suited up here. Gilad's coming, Chris the drone pilot's coming. It's gonna be a fun day. Here it is. All right, let's go. Good Come, on. Oh Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're headed out. Oh, and 
Now, it is a beautiful day out here. Absolutely beautiful. Woo! Well, I had quite a good time today. The waves weren't as good as I was hoping, but I definitely had at least one or two decent nose rides, and that method of walking back after nose ride is so good. So I'm gonna make sure I keep working on that every single week. I'm gonna try to get some video of Gilad now because he's still in the water. I don't know, you probably can't see. I'm gonna get a couple shots of him and then call it a day and just enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see everybody next week. Have a good one.